and welcome to a new video about programming Arduinos. This time we are really try to use the shift register from last video with our Arduino. Okay? We do have still our hardware setup from last time. And I said, the only thing we need to do is simply to replace those three buttons with outputs of the Arduino, right? Because whatever I typed in here, a program could do in Arduino as well. So let's see, this here was the clock, right? And I will use the clock on pin number nine. Okay, so I'll remove this and put this to pin number nine. Here's nine, here. Now clock is on nine. This was the data pin. Yeah. And data, data I'm going to put to 12. Mm -hmm. Here's 12. Good. And this here was the latch. From latch I will remove this pull resistor here. Yeah. The other two, the other pull resistors I do not have to remove. And this latch I will put to 11. Okay. And the only thing I have to do is I will also remove all those all those buttons because we don't really need them anymore. Back. Huh? Okay. Looking more convenient. Good. Okay. So this was the this was the hardware setup actually. So you see, not too hard. And now the only thing I have to take care of is that uh, that my Arduino really does what I like. Okay. Good. So I will define those constants. I will define that was the latch pin. This was 11. I will define the clock pin. These are used at 9. I will define the data pin. And this was 12. Okay? Good. In setup, ooh, I will save it under a new name, of course. Save as uh, uh, programs. And this is 15. Shift register back. Wait. So define all the pin modes. The latch pin needs to be an output yeah, because the Arduino, Arduino needs to tell. And then, of course, the clock pin and the data pin, they're also outputs. Clear. Good. Now, now is the first time where it really makes sense to define our own function. Okay, so we're defining our own function. Uh, it will return nothing, void. Yeah? And we will call it update shift register. Yeah? What do we want to display there? Yeah? We want to display eight bits, eight digital things. And eight bits is exactly one byte. So we're using the type of byte. Byte contains exactly eight bits. Yeah? This is re representing a byte. Huh? And we expect there to be the pattern inside. The pattern which we want to display. So a pattern of zeros and ones. Yeah? Every one shall be, the LED shall be lit and every zero to L bit LED should be off. The first thing we have to do is to set the latch pin to zero. Right? This is what I have done with my button here. Huh? So we will get it to the right. Use the latch pin. And set it to zero. Huh? 
Alternatively, you can also write low. Yeah? Zero. Did you write latch bin zero? Okay. Uh, whatever comes in between after we are ready, the latch bin shall be back to one. Okay. And in between, we have to shift this out. And there is even a command for this. There is a command and we can use shift out. This is a command already built in our Arduino, which does exactly this. It needs the data pin. This is where the data will be applied. Okay. It needs the clock pin that it can change the clock every time a new data is there. Then we of course need the pattern, the bit pattern, the byte value. But in between we also need something else. Because, you know, a byte has two endings. Yeah. And you need to know if we should shift it in with the least significant bit first or with the most significant bit first. I will show you afterwards the difference. So, MSB first or LSB first. Okay? MSB first. Let's try it with MSB first. And the first thing we do in setup is we call our update shift register with zero. Okay. This is simply to clean everything is zero, no LED shall be lit. Okay. And in loop, yeah, I will define a byte. I call it LEDs, huh? why not? Yeah. And uh, I will also make a static counter. This is an int. Okay, and now we're counting up from zero, so we will make counter plus plus. If counter smaller than seven, counter plus plus, else counter equals zero. So now with every loop I'm running, this counter will be at first zero, then one, then two, then three, then seven. And if it's then 8, if it would become 8, is this correct? No. If counter is smaller than 7, counter plus plus. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. I will make it like this. Counter plus plus. If counter bigger than seven, counter equals zero. This is nice. Now it really works the way I would expect. Yeah? So if the counter is now between zero and seven. Okay, if it's bigger than seven, we will fall back to zero. And there is a command as well where we can set a certain bit. It's called bit set. Okay. It expects a byte value, LEDs, uh, in this and a bit number to be set. Counter. I will call this simply number. This is better. This is better. Number. Yeah. Here I, we are setting a specifically one bit. Bit number zero at first, bit number one at second, bit number three, and so on. So one bit after the other is set. Yeah. But in between, because this is not static, we will this will be deleted. Yeah. And then we will update 
shift we'll call this I don't have to type this all the time copy and paste and we'll move it to LEDs mm -hmm. okay so let's try to upload it's working everything fine yes what is happening out here it's not working very well, I would say. Let's see. Start the serial monitor. Let's print it out. And we want to print the LEDs and then we're printing two. This means the digits, hopefully. Let's see. This does look nice. Yeah. Ah, now we see what is happening. You see, we did not delay. We did not delay. Clear. Yeah? We have to wait a little bit here. Delay 500 milliseconds, maybe. Yeah? Let's see what is happening. Now it is flashing. Yeah? Uh, now now we see it's working. Now we see it's working. Yeah. One after the other is, is displayed. Yeah. So you see, we are shifting in this pattern. Yeah. Now we shifted in first and we see, you see this shift in really is going fast because if we, if we are decreasing here this delay value to 200 or maybe 100 yeah you remember when we morphed in those those codes yeah you see now brr, 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 yeah? can even be faster 550 yeah then we have a really running light you see it's fast enough the shifting does not really stop us even if we had no delay at all it looked like all leds were lit yeah because it simply flashed, flashed that fast okay this is what we have seen and now i can also show you what happens if we shift in this byte from the other side so if we are using least significant bit first then we're shifting it from the other side and the thing runs in the other direction, of course, yeah? because it's just mirrored then. Yeah? Most significant bit first. I like it more. Okay, so now we understand the basic concept. Uh, I want to show you more. I want to show you a little bit more interaction. Okay, so what I want to do, I want to use this, now that we have opened the serial monitor, I want to use the serial monitor and we want to type in 4 and then the fourth LED should be on. Okay? So, how to do this? First we need some information. So we serial print line yeah? and we write please type a LED number or X to delete. So we should either enter one, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 or 7 or X, then we are deleting all the LEDs. So this LEDs is now static, must be static because we are remembering this. Yeah? And 
we need a so-called character variable, character chair, character variable. Yeah? And this character we want to read in. Okay, this we want to read in from our from our serial interface. Yeah? How to read this in? Okay, how to read this in? We can ask the serial interface if something is available. If serial dot available. Okay. This is a function the serial interface is providing to us, and it is true if something is received. Good. If this something now is received, we are reading this. So the character we can use serial.read. Okay. Now we are reading a character out of the serial buffer. Somebody entered a character, we are reading the character. Okay, and now, now we have to understand a character. Yeah? If we enter zero, we do not read a value of zero, we read a code representing the sign of zero. Every character available on the keyboard has a special code. Yeah? So there is a code for zero, for the sign zero, for the character zero, which is not the value zero. It has a certain value. There's also a certain value for A, B, C, and so on. There's, this is the so-called ASCII table. Uh, it's there since ages. Uh, but we have to check if the character, yeah, we cannot write it like this, greater or equal zero. Yeah, we have to use the character and to use a character constant we have to set it into the single, into the single hook comma, right? under the single. I don't know the word in English. Uh, hook comma. Put it. If character is bigger or equal than zero, yeah, and this is a logic and character smaller or equal seven. This double, this double ends here, this is a logic end. So if this is true and this is true, so this means we have received something between 0 and 7, then we have a new number. Okay, I will remove the static now here. We have a new number. And this number. And now we need to know, we don't need the code of zero, we need the value of zero. And we don't need the code of one, we need the value of one. And luckily, those people who managed or who introduced these codes were smart enough that at least the codes for zero to nine are in a row. Okay? So the code of one is exactly one higher than the code of zero. Yeah? So if I am Reducing the code, the just received code, by the code of zero, zero, huh? then the code of zero getting zero, and the code of one is getting one, and the code of two is getting two, and the code of seven is getting seven. Huh? So now I have really a value between a number between zero and seven, not just the code of the sign. Okay? And then we can use this bit set again, this one, yeah. then this we can remove, yeah. up the chief register, however we will we'll print something, turning on LED number Print line number. Okay. Now we should see we are this here I don't need anymore. 
Good. Yeah. And now, if the character equals, never forget this double, a double equal sign is a compare delivering a boolean, a, a truth content, so if it's true or not, and a single is an assignment. This would assign something. This is comparing. Okay. Character, yeah, then LEDs is zero. Yeah. Up the shift register and zero print line. Clear. Okay, okay. Upload. Mm -hmm. Open the serial monitor. Please type in LED number. I will start with zero. Yeah, there, there is a typing field over here. Enter. Turning on LED number zero. Right. One. Right. Two. Right. Three. Yes. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Yes. And now X. It's working. It is working. 1x, 2x, 3x, 4x, 5x, 6x, 7x. <laughs> See? Now we know quite a lot of stuff. Yeah? Now we have learned how the shift register is working. Yeah? We have learned what the shift out is doing, what a least significant bit, what a most significant bit is. Uh, we even know what is serial available, that we can enter something into our program, and that what we enter is received as character, where every sign is represented by a code, and not by the value itself. Okay, That we have to take a little bit care about this. Good. Yeah. Next time we are using this, uh, well, to display data. Yeah, of course. We can already display data. Yeah. We can already display data. For instance, you could take the brightness sensor from a previous video, or you could take uh, the temperature sensor of a previous video and display the temperature like, you know, the red one is a very hot temperature and the icy one, the white one, is very cold temperature. Yeah, you could make a thermometer yeah, displaying the current temperature on this gauge. Gauge-like. I'm sure you can manage this. However, there is also other stuff which can be used to display data. Yeah. This other stuff is this thing here, for instance. Yeah. This is nothing more than eight LEDs in a special form. It's called seven segment display. Yeah. And we are talking about this seven segment display in the next video. Yeah. We will use the seven segment display to display a value. So we'll be in the next video for this time. Thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.